I got I, I uh, wrote a script a little screenwriting just for fun it's called a spec script spec script is like when you take a, a TV show that's happening right now and you write it it's, it stands for a speculative script and it's whenever you take a show that's happening now, whatever it is, Game of Thrones, you know, just like a show that already exists, and uh, you write a script like a, of, of an episode. And I did that for a show called Lucifer. It was for fun. And that was about a year ago. And it was uh, uh, it was supposed to be the first, se- first episode of season five of uh, their new season. Well, the new season's coming out, actually. The new season's coming out. Uh, in August and being in quarantine I decided to write some more of the season that I had written the spec script premiere for so I wrote episode 2 yesterday it's a bit of a hobby I don't know I feel like uh, I feel like I'm probably the only person in the universe who has spec spec script writing as a hobby but I'll show some of it so this is what a spec script looks like so, it's written on, um, it's called uh, Writer Duet, is how you do it. You can't write like on Word or whatever, you have, to have, you have to have like transitions and all that stuff. But you write it in the form of a script, like a normal script or whatever. And um, each, a script, uh, like when you're writing a script, each page is basically a minute, give or take. So, for an hour show, you know, you leave a little leeway for like physical acting and pauses and stuff like that. So you guess, you know, about a minute a page. So for an hour, you want to write 50 to 55 pages somewhere in there. I think this one came in at 48. But yeah, this is it. Um, episode 502, obviously. Episode uh, 2, season 5, written by me. It's title page. And then, so you can see here, like, transitions fade in. Um... INT is interior. So this is like, this is the fade in. And then this is the shot. Or not the shot, but the set. This is the scene. To, okay, the scene, not the set. So if you're writing like a, like a play or something, you, you want to set the scene. So this tells you the scene. So it's inside the LAPD precinct as morning time. And then you go into the action part. So this is kind of a, like, this is kind of like the book part. Now, scripts can be different different scripts for different folk um some let me get this going. so some sc- so some scripts can be you know like really wordy like some people write them almost as books so this part the action part can y'all see my mouse yeah right yeah so the action part of some scripts are like super long and the action part the action part will be like paragraphs, you know, like paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs. Mine, mine's a little shorter. I'm more of a dialogue kind of guy. So we set the scene a little bit and then we go into the actual dialogue. So the way I did it, you know, you have your character who is talking and then in parentheses, you can put like a note basically like if they're making a facial expression or how they're supposed to read the line or what they're supposed to be doing while reading the line, just like a little note. Um, it shouldn't be action per se, but it's it should just kind of give you a little bit of background of how they're feeling or whatever. This is that's more for the actors and actresses. Um, so then you go through the dialogue, some actions in between, um, just more dialogue. <clears throat> so then we have like smash to black, followed by the title card. That's just another um, transition. More dialogue, more action. See how it kind of bounces back and forth. And then, so now this is a different scene, obviously. You can put, like, fade to black or smash to black at the end of a scene if you you know, if you know, want. Uh, it, it, the only hard part, it's not hard for me because this is how my mind works, but you're not supposed to put in things like your director or your producer would do. So if you're a director or producer, you know, it's up to them, like, what music's playing, what what's actually happening, like, what the, what the people are wearing, what they look like. It's not really up to you. So you leave that kind of stuff out. So, it's kind of interesting to write, you know, because you, you do have to leave out stuff. You know, I, I can't say, like, Al Rock, 37 years old, uh, sweating, wearing a green shirt, his 
family, whatever, this, this, and this. I can't like have this huge novella because then I'm all, I'm taking a lot of power away from the, the director. Obviously, in the spec script, there's no director, but that's how you know that's how this works. But I, it's fun. I don't know why. I just really enjoy it. And this, yeah, like I said, this one. Now, obviously, like my process and the actual process is is totally different. You know, um, you know, like um, I mean, I wrote this in a day. I'm sure the actual process. I'm sure you're not writing a script in a day, but this took me one day. I wrote the outline. I wrote the outline of this. Let me, let me show you what the outline looks like. So I started in the morning, and I wrote an outline on pen and paper, old school. I just have like, so you can see this. It's just like bullet points. It's probably too bright. You can see like bullet points. You see like uh, over here, the bullet points are the scenes, and then I fill in the rest. This just keeps me on track. So like, you know, as I'm writing, I'll reference my my this. I'll reference this, and um, you know, that way I'm like, okay, I'm on this scene. And then I would fill in all that, and it's like, all right, what's next again? And I, then I know I have this scene, and then um, a lot of the times I'll skip. Like this, this happened a lot of this, and um, so all of my script, fifty pages, came from this outline, one page, one page outline. Uh, but you can, you'll you'll see on here like there's a few scenes that were deleted. Um, we'll see one, two. These two were completely deleted. This scene right in the middle here ended up being second to last. So it ended up being the penultimate scene back here. But yeah, it's fun. I don't know. I mean, it's weird, I guess. It's one of those things where it's like, as I'm doing it, it's like, how many people are out there doing this? How many people are out there just for fun writing 50 pages of script? writing an entire episode of a TV show in one day. I don't know. It's one of those things where you do it and you're just like, what the hell did I just do? I just wrote a, I just wrote a script. And this is just a PDF of the script, obviously. The software is on my other computer, my like, work computer. I think I just like think like this. Like I think that's why I like screenwriting is that I think more of like in dialogue and like a little quick kind of. I, I don't think like a, a like a novelist where like I want to describe like the walls. You know, like you'll you'll read a page of a book in like you know Game of Thrones or something or, or J.R.R. Tolkien. And it'll be like uh, the hero walks into the cave and the dewy mist fall from the morning's rain is still set on the wall and the smell of fall of fog and. Uh, moss is still lingering in the air as the hero takes a step inches by inches and it's like I don't think like that I don't, I don't think like these crazy long fleshed out uh, style I think more like here's the immediate scene here's the characters and I'm I feel like I'm good at having the characters like dialogue in my head I, I can hear the dialogue in my head you know, like for example like this, wait, where am I? yeah, like this, like this scene right here in, in the penthouse. So there's two people in the scene. I, I, I feel like I'm good at understanding the scene and the tone and what's supposed to be happening, what's driving the story, and how each character feels and kind of like how th what they're saying, how that portrays the story. I'm not good at describing what color the like in this scene. I'm not good at describing what color the the you know the whiskey is inside of the decanter or I'm not I, 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 I get lost in that I'm much more of a I guess quick kind of you know thing dialogue is like my favorite thing to write like these dialogue sequences I really enjoy obviously if I was like a screenwriter the I would take a lot more time with these you know if I was like a, if I was actually writing an episode of this show, I would, you know, I'd, I'd write this in one day, and then I'd probably go away from it, and then I'd reread it a few times, and then I'd write a second draft where I went through and just like 
you know, took out some words or reworded some things. But this is two drafts, literally two drafts. I wrote the entire thing and then I just kind of got away from it. And then I went back to it, reread it, and corrected some mistakes and re took out some words. And that was it. So it took me two drafts. And I think this is the third script I've written for fun. Second, obviously, this season. My goal, my goal is to publish a full season five before season five actually comes out. Season five actually comes out um, August 21st. So I've got about six weeks to write. I'll probably write like a six episode season. I already have two done, so I got six weeks to write four episodes. So, totally doable. But it's cool. I tweeted out the links to both of these episodes. So if you're interested in going and reading those, um, you know, knock it out. I made a few... It's, it's kind of funny because, like, I had to go back and watch some episodes of the show to get the voices of the characters to get their, to get their kind of you know the little the little quirks and the little things that make them, them, all that stuff. I had to kind of get that back because you can't just write in your own voice. You, know, you got to write in their voice. You got to write in their, their way of talking. Like for example, let's see if I can let's see. Like Lucifer. Yeah, this is like the last scene. I'm trying to think of a way. I'm trying to think of a part where I can show this. Like Lucifer has a quirk where he always says the name of who he's talking to. So in his sentences, he's almost always saying their name. Detective, Mazakine. Let's find some more Lucifers. I'm fine, detective. Detective. Mm. Maze. Maze. Stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I was doing last night. And uh, you wouldn't believe this, but writing 50 pages kind of takes it out of you. So after I wrote this, I was uh, exhausted.